सो हेलो गाइस दिस इज मी वैभवी सिंह योर वेलकम ऑन अन अकेडमी इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म अबाउट माय क्वालिफिकेशन आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन इन ज्योग्राफी ऑनर्स एंड नाउ आई एम परसुइंग माय मास्टर्स फ्रॉम काशी विद्यापीठ यूनिवर्सिटी वाराणसी ओके एंड नाउ अबाउट माय प्रोफेशनल बैकग्राउंड आई हैव बिन टीचिंग सिंस टू टू थ्री ईयर्स एंड मोर देन थ्री ईयर्स and i have taught uh, 100 plus students as offline as well as online coachings at succedum as well as other uh, coachings i have a lot of experience and uh, i love to teach in the field of geography because i have completed my graduation and uh, because geography is also a subject like you can feel or visualize in your surrounding what is happening in your surrounding you can feel it so it is very easy to understand the concept of geography with me so from today i'll make it very easy to understand geography for you okay so you can see here i'm going to explain you class 11th fundamental of physical geography okay so now i'm going to uh, give 100 hour plans okay i'm going to divide this 100 hour plan how to learn all these how to uh, learn all these 16 chapters in 100 hours plan okay you can see here there are 16 chapters and there are six units in all uh, comprising all uh, 16 chapters right so first 30 hour we are going to study one to five chapter that is first one is geography as a discipline origin of the evolution of the earth and interior of the earth distribution of ocean and continents minerals and rocks and geomorphic processes in the second part landforms and evolution composition and structure of atmosphere solar radiation heat balance and temperature atmospheric circulation and weather system these uh, five and these five 30 and 30 are it will take okay and then third part that is from chapter number 11 to chapter number 16 okay let's see water in the atmosphere chapter number 12 water climate and climate change and then fifth unit that is water water uh, oceans 13 chapters 14 is the movement of the oceanic water and then life on the earth and the biodiversity and the conservation that i will cover this part third part in 36 hours okay right so just uh, uh, same i have divided 6 uh, hour in 2 uh, each chapters that total 96 hours and remaining 4 hours i'll uh, i'll be there for question uh, practices and mcq practices okay now so for today among all these chapters we are going to discuss about chapter number 8 of unit number 4 that is climate so chapter number 8 that is composition and structure of the atmosphere okay let's see the explanation so we have to cover atmospheres and its composition so first question which arises in your mind that yes ma'am what is atmosphere now see your teacher is sitting here just me okay and i am surrounded by a number of mixture of gases okay that is oxygen that may be the nitrogen that may be the uh, carbon dioxide okay so these all the mixture of gases you can see in our surrounding these are called the atmosphere very simple okay now why it is become the main component of the earth's interdependent physical system why okay because you can see the percentage uh, the atmosphere which is composed of that is nitrogen 78% 21% of the oxygen and 1% in other gases you can see carbon dioxide argon water vapor and other gases so it is very important for our uh, you know our uh, interdependent physical system because uh, we uh, human and animals take oxygen from the air right as the breath and green plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis in this way oxygen content is air remain constant and 
nitrogen so nitrogen is also very plentiful gas right it is one of the primary nutrient nutrients critical for survival of all living organisms right carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is not present in our atmosphere it is important heat trapping gases or greenhouse gas right and it come from where when we burn the fossil fuels right and extraction that uh, come from there okay so in this way we can say that how uh, atmosphere become very important component of our earth entire physical system layer of the earth atmosphere the next topic right you can see here there are mainly five layers okay that first one is the troposphere you can see here this is the lower lowest layer which is start from the ground level and extend up up to 12 to 18 kilometers you can also see here the air craft or jets right you can also see a number of clouds here in this layer why because 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere is found in this layer next one you can see here this boundary so this boundary which differentiate troposphere with other another stratosphere level that layer that is called the tropopause okay now stratosphere what is stratosphere it extends up from uh, ground to 50 km okay and uh, the ozone layer is also found within this stratosphere okay absorb high energy ultraviolet radiation light from the sun now next one is the mesosphere what is mesosphere so mesosphere it extend up to 80 to 90 km of 53 miles you can see here above our planet and also most of the meteors you can see here the meteors burn up in the mesosphere and you can also see the temperature difference between first and when we go up uh you know from our uh, down we see the temperature which uh which uh, you know the temperature is falling down okay now thermosphere thermosphere you can see it is up to 800 km right and uh, air is very rarely found in this layer right and high energy x ray and uv radiation from the sun are absorbed in the thermosphere okay now exosphere it is considered out, outmost layer of the atmosphere and it is very loosely bound by the airs okay it is you can see so you can see here the satellites the space shape okay and also see the temperature that is 1200 degree celsius 